name is Russell with the Piano Outlet, and today I'd like to show you some G2s. Actually, we have three G2s here today, and uh, two of them are of a similar, a similar vintage. The other one is a, a little later model over here. Basically, what we have is a mid-70s vintages uh, G2s right here, these two, and this one here is mid to late 80s, about 10 years newer. And uh, the reason why I'm showing you the difference is that this particular piano is all original from the mid-1970s. This is all original except we put all new strings in, and that is an all original later 1980s. I'd like to bring the camera over here. And first, we're going to show you the differences cosmetically, aesthetically, and all that. If the camera come up a little close here and look at the inside of the piano, uh, one thing that we're going to notice is that this piano has blue pins. This is what comes from the factory. Uh, these are more, uh, they have more of a propensity to, to oxidize and rust. However, these are really, really clean and really nice. We did polish them so they look extra nice, but uh, they're in great original condition. Uh, the inside of the piano, if you look at the soundboard, <coughs> is uh, dark or co in color, and that's because back then they used uh, varnish instead of uh, polyurethane clear cut like what they use today. And, uh, you know, the copper wound bass strings, kind of dark, and that's indicative of the age of the piano. But the piano really has a great sound. Cosmetically, the finish on the piano is excellent. And basically what you're looking at is a piano that sells for about $7,500. Okay? Now, what I did with this one here was I took a piano very similar to first one I showed you. This is a similar vintage. And what we did to this one is we completely restrung it. And if you look at the difference, we replaced the blue pins with nickel plated pins. And the nickel plated pins uh, are very, very, um, they, won't, they won't rust, they won't oxidize, uh, not nearly as quickly as the blue pins will. And if you look at the soundboard, we stripped the soundboard after we took the strings out. And uh, the soundboard is nice blonde color to it. Oh, and when we had the strings out, we were able to clean and polish all the duplexes. We cleaned the bridge inside, and basically inside the piano looks like new. You've got a brand new set of bass strings. So cosmetically, when you open up this piano and shine a light inside of it, if it's in your house, it's going to look a lot better. A piano like this sells for about $8,000, so you're talking about only a $500 difference between the two. And this is the piano that I would choose, because if you had to have this work done, it would probably cost you about $3,000 on your own in your own house or to find somebody that knows how to do it. Okay. Over here we have newer Yamaha G2. This is uh, about a 1987. And right away you can see there's a difference because in the later models they have a wood veneer on the inside. This is uh, like a mahogany. It's very pretty. And this is what they put on their pianos today. The piano has a more modern look to it. Uh, this one is all original. This one sounds great too. We're going to compare the sound a little bit after this, and then uh, I'll tell you which one I like better. This piano is going to sell for about 8500 So you have 7500 8000 8500 I'm going to play the first one a little bit. this one and play the same thing. Treble 
on here. Very nice sounding piano. It just shows you what a brand new set of strings will do. Now let's play the newer one here. Thank you very much. 